I broke into a hotel room and became my friend's sleep paralysis demon. You see, I was hanging out with Francis Moten here on TikTok, which is JP and Francis. And they were like, hey, we have this extra hotel room. You should come down and stay so we can all go to Disney tomorrow morning early. And I was like, that sounds great. Let's do it. What's the hotel room number? And then they fell asleep. And so I have no idea where I'm going. So I get down to this hotel and then I go up to the front desk and they hand me a key. And I go, what room does this key go to? And they go, we're not sure, but we think it's 708. And I was like, you're not sure? Okay, so I go up to room 708, and I put the key in, and it doesn't work. But I was like, I'll try the handle anyway. And so I try the door handle, and it opens. The door hadn't been closed or locked. And at first I'm thinking, oh no, I'm breaking into a stranger's room. This is not going to go well. I'm about to get arrested. But instead, I look, and there are suitcases strewn all across the floor, and I see Francis's blanket. And so I'm like, oh, I know exactly where I am. So I bust into the room quietly, and there are five dudes just past out. Jerry's on one bed. We've got Thomas and Scro on another bed. And then we've got JP and Francis just passed out on the floor because they had been playing Mario Party super late. And I know that because the TV was still on. So I get down and I start patting Francis and I'm going, Fran, Fran, Fran. And he is unmovable. He is not waking up. So I move over to JP and I go, JP, JP. And here's the thing, that might be totally normal if we had been at like a slumber party, but we're not. I'm broken into his hotel room in the middle of the night in a room he thinks is locked and closed and I'm whispering his name like a serial killer. And so as that happens, I see his eyes flutter and I think this probably isn't gonna go well. He's definitely gonna scream. And then he looks over at me, sits straight up and goes, hi Ryan. And I go, hey JP, you took that surprisingly well. He goes, yeah, what's up? And I go, what room am I staying in? And he goes, oh, 726. And I go, thanks. And so I sneak out of the room, having alerted no one else. And the next morning, JP wakes up and goes, yeah, Ryan came into our room last night, woke me up and asked what room he went into. And because I hadn't woken anybody else up, no one believed him. And they were just gaslighting him to be like, you're out of your mind. You're crazy. You must have been having sleep dreams. So I became a sleep paralysis demon because he believed them. So later, I had to explain to the whole group, no, I really did do that. And this is for you, JP. You're not crazy for this reason.